Watch the entire video my lovely viewers, I mean from start to finish, to get the whole thing. Without wasting much of your time, let's get right into it. Hi lovely viewers, it's me again, your one and only Mtati Mpundu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time on my channel, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and turn the bell icon to join the notification squad. Don't forget to like, share and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. At no tired you have become useless. You are now irrelevant. Uh, followers have dropped. What, 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 what? Let me tell you. Chirufatayali will never be irrelevant. He will never be irrelevant. That's why people talk, talk about me. That's why you talk about me. You know, I'm, I'm the only person that is going to unite Zambia. Because for me, I mean, it, it, I don't have a side. That's why you like to ask me, why Minina Pesa? Where do you stand? Where, whatever. Forget it. For me, where I stand is on issues. I look at the issues. It's not about the person. It's not about a... Oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. But I start knocking in a pan. Anyway. So, for me, it is not about, no, you belong to uh, uh, HHE, you belong to uh, Edgar Lungu. No, it is about issues. For me, it is about issues, you know. I know right now a lot of people are saying, ah, no, uh, uh, UPND is paying him. What, 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 what? Let me tell you a secret, right? Let me tell you a secret of life. If you want to succeed in life, because for me, as much as I have challenges, but certainly I am a success. For me, if I were to die today, I would, I would have achieved something. I have achieved something. I have achieved a lot in my life. Trust me. Uh, it, it, my life, I only, I, uh, God has blessed me so much that now my life is, is just a... Uh, it's, it's an overflow. It is an overflow. I have already achieved what I ever dreamed of when I was young. I really suffered when I was young. I never, never, never thought that one day I can even, uh, you know, even drive. Okay, the vehicle, yes, I, 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 I dreamt of driving a vehicle. But, but really even just to live a certain life i'm not saying it's a lot no 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 it's nothing it's nothing i know a lot of you have got so much you know a lot of you have got so much but for me for me just for me to even uh, uh it, it, my biggest dream trust me my biggest dream ever in my life was just to get on a plane that was my biggest dream each time i used to see a plane i used to wonder how how do people feel flying in there? That's all. That's all. I'm a person that I was walking without shoes. I never, I didn't have shoes in my early stages of life. I didn't have shoes. I never. Some of you went to school, you know, with na uniform iba kushtila. Ine ama uniforms. The uniforms I used to go with kuskudu. People used to give me those uniforms whereby. Uh, you know, you somebody cannot can no longer use them. Those are the uniforms I used to get torn. When I passed to go to grade eight, my father went and bought me. You know, I remember that grey trousers from Men Masala. By that time, Men Masala, that is the only place where we used to find second hand clothes. My father went and bought these big trousers, second hand, which was even torn behind. And he had to come and reduce it and put a figamba kunuma. I didn't have a shirt. He couldn't afford to buy me a shirt. He gave me his white shirt. It was not even white. It was cream white. You know, but that is how I went to grade, to grade eight. My dream really was if I could buy a good shoe, you know, I, I really struggled. 
I, I was not so ambitious looking for something very big. That's why when I reached grade 12, when I reached grade 12, what I thought, you know, I said, thank God, let me just become a priest so that I can help other people. And that has been my life is to help other people. But look, I have helped so many. I'm not a person that is going to start embarrassing people to say that one, that one. I have helped so many. I have educated people. Educated people and they are living in their own homes. They are living. I have educated people myself with my money. I took people, a number of people, paid for their school fees and so on and so forth. I've done that. So I, I am a success. As far as I'm concerned, I am a success. Inde no fanta nimba sela. It is an overflow. It is an overflow. The point I'm trying to make to you is that uh, you know you 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 like to hey he, 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 this one is paying him this one is paying him whatever whatever and I'm telling you that no one pays you for dad. Get this one from me, and I don't want any young person to be misled that you can live a life of Chirufatayadi by politicians paying you. No. It won't work. It never works. There is no politician who is sitting there waiting to give you money. Nothing. It doesn't work out like that. It doesn't work out like that. Listen to me. It doesn't work out like that. No one wants to just give money. No one has money to just give out. There would have been no poor people. If people were freely giving out money just like that, they are giving it. There would have been no, people, no poor people. Why is it that we have people in the streets? Why is it that those people, they are not just going there to give them money? No, it's mouth for hire. It's mouth for hire. How many of you talk on social media? How many of you talk on social media? Why don't they come to you and give you? Eh? Why don't they come to you and give you? Certainly, I do struggle here and there. But my life is okay. My life is good. But don't get it. Don't ever think that it comes easy. My life doesn't come easy. My life doesn't come easy. My life comes with a lot of thinking. My life comes with a lot of hard work. And here is a secret which I want you, especially you on social media, and those of you who want to be, you know, to be in politics, set up your agenda. In everything that you do, set up your agenda. You set up your agenda. Come up with something yourself and look for people who have interest to invest in what you're doing. That is how I live my life. I come up with the agenda myself. I come up with the agenda. And I invite those who, are, who have got common interest to invest in. That is what I do. It is as simple as that. Don't be cheated that that is paid by whoever. No, no one pays me. There is a difference whereby somebody comes say, Oh, Tayari, hey, can you now start talking about this, this, this? It doesn't happen like that. It doesn't happen like that. Why don't they call you? Why don't they call you and say, Hey, you were Trevor Tampokola and the party fine, 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 and we are going to give you so much money. Why don't they do that? Why don't they do that? You set your agenda. Set your agenda. Come up with something and let other people come and join me, join in. In I set up the agenda. And in, in Zambia, I set up the agenda. I set up the agenda and I run with it. This agenda of, of Alewe Rilapo, I started it. And a lot of you bought into it. It's me. It's me, Mufu Ikishe. It's me, first time who went to Kuribalungu to go and ask him to say, come back. It's me. First time I set up the agenda. I went to Balungu to ask him, come back. It's me who set up the agenda. And when I went to him with this agenda, at that point, he, he entertained it. But later on, later on, he withdrew. Later on, he withdrew. 
I am the one who went to Kulibalungu, coming up with an agenda. And I said, I'm on a kwa. Ah, tasewa HH, of our HTF. Because, you know, HH was not coming out good. He was not coming out good. And certainly, HH has got serious weaknesses in his government. Which, frankly speaking, I mean, he needs help. He needs help. This is a fact. So when I saw that HH was not doing, was not ruling the country in the way that I thought he would, I went to Balungu. I went. Balungu didn't call me. It's me who went. Kuli Balungu. And I told him, Wakateka, uyumuntuyu, afirwe charwech. Can you just come back? He told me, I'm not interested. Well, maybe I'll think about it like the way he said. Maybe I can think about it. But I could see that he wanted it. And I pushed. He came around to say, okay, he entertained it. He entertained the idea. But he wanted to see how many other people would be for the idea. I called a few people trying to bring them to buy into the idea. It was me who was calling people. And those people that I called, I'm sure they are watching and they are saying it's true. I called people myself. It's me who was calling people. Uh-uh. It was me setting the agenda. But but there was, I think, I believe there was an interaction somewhere, you know, with the um, Jakai Kikwete. I think there was some, some, some interaction. Anyway, whatever it is, Hibalungu pulled back. He called me and he told me. I remember very well, we were standing outside in the night. He told me, I am not interested. And on that day, on that night, I told him, I said, no. In a country, I will support Mundubire. And I came out and started running the Mundubire agenda. I humbly want to say, even the Mundubire agenda, I started it. I started the Mundubire agenda. I went and spoke to Mundubire. Mundubire again was like, no, what, what? He was not too excited. Mundubire is not an ambitious man. Mundubire is not a man. He's a man. Uriya Mundu. Ali Tekanya and Aliba, you know, is quite wise man. I told him no. Ndala to take. It's me again who went to Mundubire and he pushed for Mundubire. He was very reluctant because even him, he was thinking to say, no, I think uh Edgar Lungu can run for it. Can run for it. And anyway, there were other things which I can't which I'm not going to disclose. Mundubir and other things, I'm not going to go to there. But at least I went to Mundubir and put him there. And Mundubir told me, yes, there are other people who have also said that. There are other people who have approached me. I said, yeah, go for it. And that is how I started. Mundubir, 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 Mundubir. That agenda was flourishing. I brought the agenda. Mundubir didn't call me to say, Tayari, can you start campaigning for me? He didn't. It's me who went to Mundubir. You see? Setting the agenda. After that, again, there was a change of mind. There was a change of mind where now Walungu wanted to come back. There was a change of mind, Mungu There was a change of mind where Walungu saw that he can come back. And on that one, I started now running the agenda. I started running the agenda. I started running the agenda. Now, I'm going to pause there and go back to say, at the moment, we have been having serious challenges, serious challenges in terms of the economy. And this is what has prompted a number of leaders wanting to become president. Because of the economic challenges, a number of politicians have started jostling for presidency. They have started jostling for president because it looks like anyone who can stand there against that kind of Ichirema can actually win the day. Because it looks like that kind of Ichirema has failed. Especially that he had overpromised. He promised a lot of things and those things are not happening. So a lot of politicians are thinking to say if I can just stand I would get it. That's what they are thinking. That's what they are thinking. 
The question that I'm asking is, with these economic challenges that we are having, and all those who are saying, I want to take the mantle of leadership, the question that I'm asking, do they really have the solution? Do they really have the solution? This is the question that we should be asking ourselves. Look around among all those. Our neighbor, no, I want to be a leader. I want to be, I want to be president and so on and so forth. The question that I'm asking you, do you think they have the solution? Do you think they have the medicine to our economic sicknesses? Do you think all those other land, including myself, including myself, do you think we have that medicine to our economic sicknesses? Do you think we have the solutions? This is what you should be talking about. Whatever, whatever. All of you. I know a lot of us, we, we are very upset with what how the way things are going on. The question that I'm asking is that in our frustrations, in our frustrations, that things are not going right. The question is, do you think that whoever you are talking about, whoever you are chanting to say, Ndefwa, whether ni Lungu, whether ni Mundubile, whether ni Fred Membe, whether ni KBF, whether ni GBM, whether ni Kambuidu, whoever, do you think they have the solutions? Do you think they will come and get in and sort out the, the mess that we are going through? Now, I have said it before, that for you to find a solution, you must first identify what the problem is. I've said it before. From my IT background, the biggest issue that we have, we were taught, is diagonizing. Meaning to find the solution. First of all, once you interact with the user, then you get now to start checking because at least that interaction will give you an idea on what you should touch. So before you look for a solution, you must be able to frankly face the problem. Even on a personal level, even on a personal level, you must first of all identify the problem. Before you find the solution, because we are full of emotions. We are full of emotions. Even some women, you find that, ah, me, I'm getting divorced. I'm divorcing this man. Divorce, you have any solution. But what is the problem? What is the problem? Some of you, some of you, especially, some of, especially women, because women, they are the majority in, you know, breaking marriages. A lot of women, they like to say toxic marriage, hey, what, 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 toxic marriage, hey, toxic man, hey, toxic, whatever. But what about you? What about you? What kind of a person are you? Maybe you are the toxic person. Maybe you are the one who should change. Most of the times we like just to point fingers. Hey, 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 hey. But what about you? Before you start talking about your friend, what about you? What is the problem? When you don't look at the problem, when you don't face the problem, you will definitely bring in a useless solution. At garbage in, garbage out. That's what it is. Garbage in, garbage out. So, if we look at our country, let us be honest, Zambians. This is what I'm begging you tonight. I am begging you, if you are patriotic, if you love our country, please, let us be honest. Let us discuss our economic challenges honestly. And tonight, if you think about our economic challenges, what is the problem? Is that kind of a problem? Of course, even myself, I've I've said that kind of cinema na firwa. I've said that kind of cinema should resign. I've said that kind of cinema let's impeach that kind of cinema. But to be honest with you, those are just politics taking advantage of some of you naive people. Those were just politics. But the real truth is that the challenges that we have, without shan shan, even they were not nindeka. I've stopped supporting you PND. I've support. I've stopped supporting PF. If you go to the majority PF, they want to show that UPND has failed because they were kicked out. They want the Zambian people to regret having had voted out PF. So today, by, by, by PF, they can never want to see anything positive in UPND. And they will not want to say problems as they are. They would want to exaggerate. They would want to bring in even what is not there.
because mwaliwa kana it as good as ulio mwanakashua kukana aya upo kumbi a lady who refuses you or who who dumps you goes to another guy you will always want to hear that uh, uh, that girl is suffering for one thing or the other that's when you feel good you will never appreciate the other man you will always look for faults that is the same situation with pf pf at the moment would we will not want to say anything truthfully they will exaggerate it they will bring in all sorts of things even what is not what it is because naturally they want to look good they want to look good they want to look good they want to look that they are better than than you pnd but if you remove politics and you speak as a patriot like i'm doing right now i'm speaking as a patriot not looking at you pnd not looking at uh, the pf i'm speaking as a patriot speaking for what is good for our country and what is good for our country is that at the moment we are having challenges and we have to find a solution the issue is these challenges that we are facing what is the problem is it aka in the hdma is it you pnd of course totally we cannot aka in the hdma is in state house is the one leading the country P, upnd is the one leading the country so they, we cannot absorb them of all wrong but truth be told it is not everything that is on baka in the hdma na, na upnd yabo truth be told it's not everything some of these things they have found themselves in it and there is nothing that they can do like i have said before even no more chicken dumbo spoke about this i was very happy with the with the video that ken dumbo made he even did a bit of research here and there which is very good and i'm sure a lot of you if you were to do a little bit of research like ken dumbo did you would agree with me that the economic challenges we are facing in a country they are um by, by and large contributed uh, or, or brought by the, the the external factors particularly the war that is in ukraine the 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 the, the, the oil market the, the the oil producing countries politics and of course the cold war between between china and the china and the america or western countries so so to say this is what is playing this is what is glo- this is what is all over globally that war in ukraine is not a war between russia russia and the, and the, and ukraine no that war is about trying to who is controlling the world that is what that war is all about that is what that war is all about America the western countries are busy fighting on this side of Ukraine a defeat on Ukraine is like a defeat on the western countries look at where it started from it started on NATO it started on NATO Russia said no you can't be part of NATO who is NATO NATO is the the the, the western countries military and he he said no you can't be and this guy is saying no 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 who are you we we want ukraine to be part of us so that is affecting is affecting us as you know that i mean those two countries i mean contribute a lot to world production of fertilizer as well as uh, grain they also control you know they they are on the seaside you know the black sea there which brings a lot of things into africa we have the black sea a lot of things passes through the black sea coming into into africa so there is also a trade route involved so these challenges have affected us big time the cold war between america and china has also affected us china is on the side of russia and china is saying you know what you are giving uh, arms to to ukraine so we are going to fix you so this is affecting us as small countries it is affecting us as small countries this is the truth it is not haka in the ichirema and by you pnd by you pnd people are saying tayari you have been heard you have been heard i wish 
but you PNG, you could hire some of us. We help you. We help you. I really wish by UPND you could hire some of us. Because well, hey, hey, a mouth for her, a mouth for her. I really wish you could hire us. Because really sometimes the way you disseminate information, I mean, it's so far that recently we have been talking about these global issues that you are also talking about it. President Daka Inde Ichirema was going around speaking Pamarari area. All you could do is to blame PF. And that was a mistake. I was listening to those uh, to those rallies. Wherever he went, he's like, no, PF did this, PF did this. That is a mistake by UPND. It is a mistake by UPND to always point at PF. Because these problems we are facing, it is not even PF. That is a fact. By UPND, you think by over, over politicizing things, you think you are helping yourself, but you are also shooting yourself in your foot. It was very wrong for Baaka Inde Ichirema and his government to continuously talk about PF when actually the problem are not even that they have not even been brought by PF. The problems we are facing is not PF. Look at you. You are also borrowing. You have been borrowing, and from the records, you have borrowed even more than PF. You have borrowed more than PF, but you are busy. Almost hey, actually, PF, hey, PF, politicizing things, making things wrong, making things worse. So you have made a mistake by UPND by lying. The problem with you by UPND, you lie. And that is a problem. You have contributed to messing up the, you know, the, the mind, the narrative by lying. You should have told the people the truth. It is not PF who has caused these economic challenges. Eh? We are sorting out the problems that they that they that they, they caused. Eh? That this man, a minister of of mines, at stretching every put put in shimulatina. These problems are not caused by PF. These problems are a global global challenge many countries are facing these challenges and this is the truth and if only you can tell the truth you will even find evidence ghana was 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 demonstrating eh? that akufo ano is in problems he is in problems people are, are rioting malawi people were rioting kenya ruto is in problems ruto ale piba is in problems. People are rioting. South Africa, it is tense there. Syria Ramaphosa is in problems. Munangagwa is in problems. These are global problems. These are world challenges. Why don't you tell the people the truth? And in and then you fishing car. But you PND, can you Tell the people the truth. The truth will set you free. The truth will save you. Vahaka Inde Ichirema was very wrong to go on the platform and start telling people at no in Congolesha. No, no, no. And this problem is continuing. It is this problem is not ending. You got debt restructuring. You got debt restructuring. If you got debt restructuring, why hasn't minimum gone down? Why hasn't fuel gone down? You got debt restructuring. And some people are saying debt cancelling. De even if we have debt cancelling today, even if we have debt cancelling today, we our country, our debt is wiped out zero. I can assure you, Ubungata Wakawere. Even if we have debt cancellation today, I can assure you, uh, fuel will not go will not go down, because we are not producing fuel. We are not. So these are the real challenges. And if you are patriotic, you need to tell the people the truth. And in and then This is the truth. Not if I me by UPND or cover in PF, not if I let me by PF, or cover to you never you never back in the chin of Rokteka. Woofy. Listen it from the public lawyer. Public lawyer telling you the truth as it is. We are having challenges. Britain, I was just listening to the speech of the Prime Minister there. 
They are subsidizing people. They are telling them buy utuma bonds and they will be giving them, you know, so much uh, interest. That is another way of cushioning them. That is another way of cushioning them. Joe Biden is in problems because, you know, a, a, who is this guy? Donald Trump is carcassing them, saying this guy is a useless guy. Shan, shan, economy is bad. What, 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 what? And people are even saying, even in America, they are saying, no, when, when, when Trump was there, the economy was stronger and whatever, whatever. Hello? Those who are in opposition, they are using this to malign or to, to campaign to get some political mileage over those who are in government everywhere in the world. They are doing that. But the truth is that these problems are not really by the people that are in government. This is DJ Mutati exclusive. All right, that's all right for you today, lovely viewers. If you did enjoy the video, please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about the video you just watched in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you, lovely viewers. Once again, I go by the name of Mutatim Pondum. I love you, peace. I gotta go.